pick up the uh, We played really well in the first half, and, and they played their usual lineup. Uh, in the second half, they played smaller. They didn't, uh, most of the time, they, they put number 12 uh, as kind of like their power forward. So now they had four pretty skilled guys out there, and you just couldn't help off anyone on, on to the, the big guy. And uh, when they went smaller, they, they, it was a great move by their part. And I, I was scared of that lineup on paper, too. I thought they basically they put their best lineup out there, and they did a great job. In hindsight, I, I'm thrilled it, it, with having to come from behind. Uh, you mentioned staying positive, and the, the, the thing that's interesting about, I think, coaches and players is when you're playing well, you could be a little more negative, you could be a little more demanding. But when you, things are going bad is when you got to be more encouraging. And I think everyone uh, on, on our bench did a good job of that today. Uh, you know, being, being able to, to handle adversity is one of the biggest characteristics of, of, of a good team. It, it might be the biggest characteristic, and we've done it in a couple games here. The bad news is that we're not good enough to, to play a whole 40 minutes, but, uh, but to have the mental toughness to, 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 to remain poised and to keep fighting and to, to beat good teams when you're down, is priceless. That's that. That it's it's a, a quality that I think bodes really well for us. Can you talk about Eric Murray's performance? And you know, I, I'm like uh, uh, Ruben, and, and I said this after Eric's first game last year. He's expected to be a great player. Uh, I tell him all the time that to whom much is given, much is expected. So he did what he's expected to do today, uh, which is not easy. I mean, to do what you're supposed to do takes focus and effort, and, and, and he gave us focus and effort today and was able to have a great game. Again, his growth has been tremendous. I, it, it's the, the expectations on him have always been realistic because he's a gifted guy, but his basketball experience is, is getting good enough now where he just simply knows what he has to do at this level. And again, post injury last year, he's not playing with a guard and four power forwards anymore either. That didn't make things any easier on him either. To do it against uh, maybe Baylor helped, yeah. you know, because it's not maybe not that same level, but it's similar. Everyone long. He, he's been playing he's, like this yeah. all year in practice. This is the Eric that we see every day, mm -hmm. you know. So he, he's he, you know, when when people come in and see him, they they say he's one of the most improved players they've seen. So it's really a credit to him. And uh, he's been playing like this every day. And, and filling out the, the stack on has kind of even been a forte base since day one. Blocks, rebounds, well, getting great to the line. Yeah, he could do it all. Yeah, he could do it all. What, what you saw out there is exactly what he's capable of. Now, one of the, again, unsung heroes, I think, listen, Devin White, I, I think when we were man-to-man, -man, I, I, I don't think Thompson got the ball when Devin was in the game. I mean, Devin obviously made shots, but his defense was outstanding. He, he would be a big time, he had a big time impact on the game um, from our perspective. Does, is it a concern when you see these, not maybe it's just prior to being so early, but you see a great, eight-minute span in the first day of the team, yeah. didn't miss a shot, and everything was kind of clicking, jumpers were falling. See, I, I, I give, boy, I give, number one, we're not a great team yet, so that happens to everyone at times. Mm -hmm. uh, but secondly, I give Morgan a lot of credit for that. They put, a lot, they put their best lineup out there, they did a good job, and that's a hard lineup for anyone to play against. Uh, that second half, jumpers weren't falling at all. 16 minutes. Every basket came from, you know, within the paint of all that, a couple of dunks. Devin hits that baseline jumper, and then you hit that pull up three that really kind of clinched things in the end, just a matter of holding on to the lead from there. Can right. I walk you through that play? The three? Yeah. Well, so the shot clock running down. So the shot clock running down, and me being a leader on this team, you know, I feel like I'm in a position now where I can help the team when they need that little push to get over the top. So that's what that three is about. I felt like we needed that, hit it, kind of push the game from there. Mm -hmm. Second half, you talk about being a leader of the team, not panicking, you know, 
lost the 17 point lead. Um, things weren't going well, I assume. You didn't look too happy on the sideline. But uh, uh, keeping poised and not letting an early season game like this slip away, that is something that would just kind of irk you now for a couple of weeks, you know? Yeah. Um, I think guys look at me in these situations, see how I respond. So I feel like if I'm poised, everyone else around me on the court will be calm because I'm always kind of. You know, like Tyreek is a freshman, Sam is a freshman, Earl's is his first time playing in two years. Eric's always nervous, which is good for us. But so I feel like by me showing poise, it allows them to relax a little bit in these situations. Like I don't really get rattled at all, except at the free throw line today. So I mean, don't change your shot. <laughs> uh, for, for both of you guys, the front line that Morgan State brings in. Obviously, had to have been a concern coming, you know, 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", experienced guys, uh, big bodies, athletic, for Eric to put for the performance that he did today. I mean, what does that really say about you know, where he is right now? Um, he's a dominant big man, and he showed that today. He almost had a triple-double, nine blocks. I think it was a big challenge for him guarding this kid, and I think he did well. And we'll look forward to more of that from Eric. Eric, you see your stat line, I presume. One block short of a of a triple double and a school record for, for blocks with nine. Um, John said that you're expected to do this. I mean, that's a lot to expect, you know, near triple doubles. But your performance today, uh, your thoughts on that against a, a good front line from Morgan State? Um, I just I just wanted to play hard. You know, I just gave it just gave it the coach for telling me to play harder, stop, you know, man up and just play like a man instead of you know shooting threes and not rebounding. And I just listened to him and I just play hard and, and this was the result. Mm -hmm. Um going against that line, six nine or six eight, six nine, six ten. Um you know, I mean that's a pretty commanding performance against that kind of what what difficulties were, were posed to you by that line and how were you able to do that against you know, guys that are eye to eye with you, three of them. Um, I think my, the hardest part about the game was just staying in front of 33, the big man. But other than that, it just, everything else just came easy. All I was, like, I just played hard and I was just in the right spots every time. And in the second half, game was kind of slipping through your fingers. You made a couple of, you know, big buckets there to keep the team afloat. Things really weren't clicking on offense and it kind of seemed a little stagnant at that point. Being a sophomore, you know, but having to kind of take that that lead role of all right, we need a bucket. I'm going to give it to him. Right. Stepping into that role, do you see yourself being more comfortable with that this year? You know, kind of manning up, like you said. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what it is. And, um, like at, when we was down, I remember we was down by three, and I just had I told Jarrell Williams like, yo. Like, how was we down by three? We was just, like, up by, like, 17 when we came out the half. He was like, yo, composure, like, calm down. Like, if you look at it that way, we're going to lose. And then I just, like, calmed down. And I kept playing hard. And then that was just, the, you know, the outcome. Now you have the next step of getting the one more block. Register when was the last triple-double in school? Uh, <clears throat> 1992, Randy Woods. Was it your last triple-double? What year were you born? Uh, 89. 89, right. So, um, going to see that this year? Give us a, Kevin was rooting for you for you to get the triple-double. You going to give it to us this year? Yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, working hard and, you know, hopefully I get it.